Hi all, thanks for coming back for the next instalment of Tico Tico. It's a beautiful day here in Jersey in the Channel Islands and uh, I thought I'd take half an hour out to um, do the next instalment. So I hope you've enjoyed the last two lessons. We'll move straight on to the third lesson, which is uh, good fun to play. The next section goes like this. We start on, if you have it, the second dot on your um, side of your neck, which is the seventh fret. What I do, I definitely have the second finger two frets behind on the fifth fret, so it's there ready. So we're going IMI, or MIM, doesn't really matter, as long as you're alternating your first and second fingers, I and M. That's the next transition. So from there, we're going to the third fret on the fifth and first strings with the third and fourth fingers. As I mentioned in the other lessons, practice the movements. From that fourth fret on the first string, the first finger, you're visualizing that. So that's what we call a plant, the transition from there to there. Not the leafy plant, a finger plant on your fretboard. Just practice that a few times. Also, the positioning of this left hand, say to my um, students, it's my generally speaking rule. So if you go to, say, the fifth fret, position your first finger on the fifth fret and your next fingers on the following frets. Generally speaking, your middle two fingers, fingers two and three, are pretty much upright, 90 degrees, and your um, fourth and first fingers are coming in at an angle. And if you can maintain that rule as much as you can when you're playing, when you come to the first fret, the hand naturally kind of gravitates towards your face. So that's okay-ish, but as you start moving up, if you can try and use the generally speaking rule, then that's great. Also, your thumb at the back moves down. So if you're on the first string, your thumb is down towards the first string. And as you move towards your face, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth strings, your thumb moves upwards. A lot of guitarists, and I think it probably comes from narrow necks on electric guitars and acoustic guitars, the thumb will gravitate upwards and stick over the top. With classical guitar playing and flamenco guitar playing, you don't want that. The thumb wants to mirror roughly where the fingers are. So when I'm playing those three notes, with the generally speaking rule, in fact, you can actually start this lesson with the generally speaking rule. So from the first fret, freeze frame your hand and move backwards. Take your third finger off and you've got the first three notes. Once we've played that plant, those two strings, I, M, A. And what I've done, I've dropped the first finger onto C on the second string. It's almost like a C chord except we haven't got the second finger on and we have the fourth finger on the top instead. So we try that. Did you notice I automatically move my hand into that freeze frame position? If you like this, look what happens. These fingers move away from the fretboard and it's harder to reach notes. Come round and it's a lot easier. So I'm trying to go over there, but I'm pointing at my face. So come round. After that initial I, M, A, we play them again, the same strings again. After that initial part, we play the C, fifth string and the third string, and out again. As soon as you've played that top note, we move it up a fret and another fret. And when you get there, you play the fourth string move all the way back to the first fret. After that A, we return back to that starting position. Similar plant as to before, but this time on the outside strings. 
the sixth string and the first string and we're dropping that first finger on the F behind the fourth finger on the first string so it's ready. So we play the outside two strings then IMA back out practice that plant in terms of that first finger coming on the first fret it can come on slightly later or if you prefer you can land like that it's in slow motion it's more like that the priority is hitting those two notes because you're playing those open two strings after the first two notes then it's that F. So you've got that long to get the F on. Then we play, it's a similar pattern as before, we play the bass with the third string moving out again and playing the F again. Slide it up two frets, third finger on the third string. We're playing those two notes but with the bass on the third string then an open E, I and M alternating. I'm not actually paying too much attention whether I'm starting with I or starting with M, but the majority of these single notes we're using I and M to alternate. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and complemented the first two lessons. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe, like and share buttons below. I'll be dropping the next lesson down in a week's time, so look out for that on my channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.